Welcome back today. I've got another Borderlands 2 build for you guys of the Vault Hunter Zero. This will be his melee build that I recommend. I'll be going over what's the best melee weapons to use for him. You could probably use this as well on Krieg. Best skill point allocation and best gear to use for this build. This is primarily for melee. I have another Zero build for you on my channel if you want a sniping or just straight gun build. This is just for melee. Um, and now before we jump into it, I just wanted to thank everyone for the support as I've just at 100 subscribers this month, which is just awesome, honestly. Just doubled my subscribers in this last month and it's, it's just great. Thank you so much. Subscribe for more content if you want. Alright, let's jump into the build. So I'll start off with the uh, right tree, the bloodshed tree, which is primarily his melee um, skill tree. So we've got Killing Blow at uh, plus 5. This gets to increase to plus 10 with the um, class mod. So this will give you a 1000% more melee damage. Definitely want this. We have Iron Hand, which increases your melee damage by 15% and your max health by 15%. Definitely want this. Be Like Water. Shooting an enemy increases the damage of your next melee attack. Melee attacks increase the damage of your next shot. So pretty much you want to shoot an enemy, and then this will increase your next melee damage as well. Then we have backstab. Your melee attacks deal additional damage when hitting an enemy in the back. So if you're sneaking up on them or in deception mode, you get an 80% extra melee damage amount uh, called backstab. Plus, yeah. So that's pretty good. Execute. So while in Deception you can dash forward and it's a good movement ability for him as well. So you can just dash over enemies and just gain, run through the level a lot faster with this one. And then we have Follow Through, which is a kill skill. Killing an enemy increases your movement speed, melee damage and gun damage for a few seconds. So this will increase your movement speed by 80 and your melee damage by 80% as well. Definitely want those for this build with the uh, class mod and we have resurgence killing an enemy with a melee attack restores health the lower your health the more health you receive restores up to 40 percent of your max health you definitely want this as you'll use a raid shield which your shields will be down most of the time to gain that extra damage like the wind while moving you deal increased melee damage and gun damage definitely want this so if you're moving around the map you can just quickly slice people on your way to your next objective extra 15 percent damage and then many must fall killing an enemy with a melee attack while deception is active causes you to deploy another holographic decoy re-stealth and adds time to deception duration this can be done multiple times in succession so you can basically get your deception ability up a lot more um, and reset the time as well as add more time onto your um, deception duration definitely want that the only one i wouldn't recommend in the bloodshed skill tree will be grim reason why you might think max shield per second and cooldown rate is good yes cooldown rate would help you with this build but the regeneration of max shield will not help you because what you want to do is you want to grab a raid shield which i'll show you later on in this build and you want to get the raid shield so it's depleted and then you get raid damage while it's depleted so you do not want to have more regenerating shields i can explain later with the shields yeah don't pick this skill we go into cunning we've got fast hands increase your reload speed and weapon swap speeds so you can swap from like a melee grog nozzle to another weapon or a north lead or something counter strike this Increases your melee attack, has a chance to deal massive increased damage by 250%, so that's more damage. Increases damage out when attacking from behind, or when attacking an enemy who is targeting someone other than you. So if a bandit is attacking your friend, you can get an extra 40% more damage, which is called ambush damage as well. So if he's not targeting you, you get an extra 40% damage on your melee or just in damage in general, or if he just doesn't see you. Then we have Death Mark, so this will increase your damage by 80% from all sources for 80% on the mark targets for 8 seconds. 
more damage, definitely want this. Rising shot, each successful range or melee attack grants a stack, stacking damage bonus for a short time. This bonus can stack up to five times faster weapons can gain stacks more quickly, but slower weapons retain stacks for a longer period of time. So it increases your melee damage by 9% per stack. Pretty good. Don't really want Fearless, this is just useless with a melee build. Don't really need Unforeseen. You're running around trying to melee. And then Innovate, while Deception is active, you gain increased gun damage, movement speed, and health regeneration. So you want this for the health regen, because your shield's always going to be down while, um, while dealing the increased raid damage on the melee. And you want the increased movement speed as well. Two Fangs, completely useless. This is a melee build, double shot, doesn't matter. Just don't even use it. And Death Blossom, this is definitely something you want to grab. You get five kunais every time you go into the Deception. And they have random elemental damage to them. So you can slag enemies, corrode them, etc. with this. So that's quite a little cool uh, assassin um, ability. And then the left tree we have headshot increased critical hit damage. I'm not sure if this will increase melee critical hit damage. But it potentially could. Someone could correct me if it does in the comments down below. But I'm assuming it does increase your melee critical hit damage if you just hit them in the head and it has a crit on it. And then we have one of the last skills. We have killer. Killing an enemy increases critical hit damage and reload speed. So more reloads on your bladed grog nozzle. Um, and more critical hit damage. And then we just have boar, which is basically his best skill. This, you can one-shot um, a lot of bosses with this like the bunker, uh, Hyperius, just by lining um, enemies up. And then you uh, shoot through those enemies, and it does a massive amount of damage and can one-shot enemies. One skill you could get would probably be Accelerate, but this is pretty much the best of the best for melee that you can get. If you want to change one skill point and get acceler uh, ve velocity, sorry, is what it's called. Accelerate is a different bolt under. It's called velocity. This increases your bullet speed by like a hundred percent. Gives you crit damage and gun damage. So the bullet speed will help you with slagging enemies, and the crit damage should help you with those melee attacks while hitting them in the head. But I'm pretty certain that this is everything that you need to do your melee. With Sarah. Alright, so if we jump over to the guns, we have a grog nozzle. I unfortunately don't have the bladed grog nozzle, so what you want to do is get a bladed one, and this gun here will heal you while slagging enemies as well. So you can slag them, do more damage with the melee, and heal yourself at the same time while your shields are dropped. The secondary melee weapon I'll recommend will be a Ferocious Rapier. This will slag enemies and do a crap down of melee damage. So pretty much with the bladed, this should give you a 200% increased melee damage like the Rapier. But unfortunately I don't have it. You can get this as a mission reward from Tiny Tina's DLC. Or someone can drop you one, which is preferable to get... Um, if you just find someone to drop you one and then you can forever keep it in your inventory and dupe it to your other characters. I use a Norfleet in my third gun slot. I only use it if I'm going down. So let's say you're in fight for your life mode. You can't melee any enemies to get up. Use the Norfleet, either the Fire Shock or Corrosive, depending on who you're dealing with. Um, are you dealing with loaders? Are you dealing with bandits, shields, whatever? Use whatever type is for the uh, correct enemy. And this will get you straight back up. And then I have the Logan's Gun to regenerate the Norfleet ammo with a sham shield in my inventory. So you can have infinite rocket ammo and just switch between Fire, Corrosive or Shock with the Norfleet. But yeah, it's pretty much just use these two weapons. This one with a blade for your melee build. The best uh, raid damage shield in the game will be the Grounded Hide of Terramorsis. This gives you the max amount of raid damage. So this is an extra 700,000 damage. 
So while your shields are depleted, you gain 700 more thousand raid damage. Um, so you want to keep your shields down pretty much and just use the grog, grog nozzle to heal yourself. So you get that extra damage on your melee just quite a lot. Um, there are other shields that you can use as well. Um, I would say this is probably the best de uh, best shield in terms of damage, but could potentially be the second best shield to use for a melee build, because I'll show you another one that I will recommend and a few others. Then we have the Legendary Ninja class mod. This increases your melee damage and gives you plus five to all the skills that you need to do more melee. Then we have Chain Lightning. This can heal you while using the Grog Nozzle. And then the Might of the Seraphs just increases your melee damage by 51%. And I don't think the Override cooldown. Not actually entirely sure if that does anything to Zero. But I know it does something to other characters. Comment down below if it does. And then we have two North Fleets of the different elements is what I recommend. Um, you can put in any other gun as well if you want to just have another gun just to if you don't have the north fleet or whatever and use it to get up while you're down um one gun that i will recommend that's not on my other build guides if you want to look at them as well will be the overcompensator the shotgun's pretty good um not entirely sure i don't think it's better than the interfacer but it's it's definitely up there i just really like hyperion shotguns so if you can grab this as well this is pretty decent all right and then we go into items we have the bone to the ancients uh extra shock damage pretty sure you can shock yourself with the chain lightning and then this takes your shields down um so then you gain the raid damage but i'm pretty sure you want like a overpowered level five or seven so you don't completely kill yourself you just want to gain that uh shield so the shield's not um fully charged so you get that raid damage so this can damage yourself which procs the raid damage while your shields are down <coughs> it's kind of hard to explain but you should Get what i'm talking about another relic you can use if you don't have the might of the seraphs is the strength relic which you can find just randomly through the game this will increase your melee damage it just doesn't do as much so i'm trying to give you options as well so you can use this as well this will increase your melee damage by 42 percent this one's a 51 percent increase but yeah it's just another option if you don't have this then we have the fastballs. I feel like using the fastball kind of related to like the melee build. You just melee things and like just chuck the fastball out and stuff. Like I kind of just use it while playing this build. It's kind of fun. Always recommend this. If you can find someone that can drop you this. I'm pretty sure this is a modded shield. This is like the best shield. Uh, I meant the best grenade in the game. Um, but yeah, it's obviously not in the game. Someone's modded it into it, which someone gave me it. Um, yeah, it's just a really good grenade if you're uh, down and you just chuck it out and then it gets you back up straight away. Magic Missile, if you want to slag enemies instead of using the Chain Lightning to heal yourself or proc the raid damage. And then we have the shields. So we have the Retainer. You can use this. This increases your raid damage while your shield is down. Um, this is not the best raid damage shield, but it's just another option. Punchy, it does more raid damage than the retainer, which is another option. And you want to get it in all uh, immunity elements. So this will increase it by 500,000. See, this one increases it by 700,000, so this is technically better. <clears throat> and the higher recharge delay on your shields, the better it is for this. So your shields don't recharge and then you don't have the raid damage as well. So yeah, these are two options, but they are not the best. I would say this is the second best shield, the Hyder Terramorphous, but damage-wise it's the best. Then we have the Alkaline Hyder of Terramorphous, immunity to corrosive damage, and then Inflammable is just immunity to burn damage, and then the other one's electrical damage. So whatever you're reversing, you can have an immunity to. 
whatever elements you're taking. Then I have a sham shield just for the Logan's gain to regenerate rocket ammo. Just to get up. So now we have the love thumper of all amenity elements. Um, so technically speaking, this is the best shield to use because the recharge delay is 213 seconds. So pretty much you don't have to worry about recharging your shield whatsoever. It's just always going to be down and you're always just going to have that bonus raid damage. So pretty much raid damage is when depleted, melee attack steal, bonus raid damage. So if you're having trouble with keeping a shield down in this build, I would recommend the Love Thumper. This is probably considered the best melee uh, build shield in the game. Just because of the recharge delay, you don't have to worry about it recharging. This one you do, you've got three and a half seconds, which is kind of annoying to deal with, because you've got to keep, keep getting it down, keep getting it down. So it's just something to think about, but it gives you an extra... 200,000 raid damage plus nova damage and spike damage when it depletes so that uh, that will be up to you i personally would use the love thumper so i don't have to worry about it even if it's a slight decrease in damage another shield you can use would be the order which you can get in all elements alkaline inflammable and grounded this increases it by 500,000 as well it's just another option, but it's not the best. But yeah, if you don't have one of those other shields, like the Love Thumper or the Height of Terramorphous, then use the Order, use the Punchy, or the Retainer. These are all your options for this melee build. But yeah, I will recommend the Love Thumper for this melee build, and I'll chuck it on now. Um... And I think that's about all the items that you need. You pretty much just need Grog Nozzle, Rapier, Norfleet, Love Thumper, Ninja Class Mod, Might of the Seraphs to increase your melee damage, a Chain Lightning, Magic Missile, or a Fastball, whatever you want, and these are your shield options. If you could like and subscribe, that would be much appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If anyone wants to comment down below on any videos that you recommend, then there'll be really appreciate it just gives me more content to produce for you guys and yeah thank you very much see you guys later